along with the music and the compositions, we're also geographically traveling through places. So we were in Uttarakhand, then we went to Tirunelveli. Now we have arrived at Sri Rangam. Sri Rangam is this absolutely unbelievably gorgeous temple. So many of you must have heard of it, gone there. It is one of the largest temple complexes of a functioning temple that one knows of. One fifty-five acres of land, eighty-one shrines, twenty-one towers, thirty-nine pavilions, the temple tanks, the seven prakaras. It is an island between the Kaveri and the Kollidam rivers, and not only this. Temple was a great religious center, but like all temples, they were. This particular temple too was an economical and a charitable center. It had educational facilities, medical facilities, free kitchens for people to partake of food. All of this received from the gifts and the donations that came to the temple was used for charitable. and social purposes so this is the kind of temple that we're talking about and once you go to the sanctum sanctorum and have a darshan of ranganatha swami lying on the adi sesha you forget about everything it is so grand it's an amazing spectacle so dikshitar has composed this beautiful piece rangapura vihara in vrindavana saranga ragam I'm going to take liberty and prelude the Rangapura Vihara with an amazing poem in Tamil by Sri Vedanta Deshigar, one of the people who resurrected this temple to a great extent and contributed to its glory today. So I start with that, and then we go to Rangapura Vihara and in Brindavan Saranga. Now you can see how Dikshitar has used a North Indian raga. to describe a south indian temple he has done the reverse on many occasions for example ehi annapurne is about the kashi goddess annapurna and he he composes it in punnagavarali which is a completely south indian raga so we can go on talking about these composers all the time mm Tiruvaran 
அனைத்தும் தீர்க்கும் கோயில் திருவரங்கம் என திகழும் கோயில் தானே திருவரங்கம் என ரங்க ரங்க ரங் Yeah. 